Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel where I'm still here blabbering on about things that you have asked me about on Instagram. So here goes. One question that I've been getting a lot is for the truth about my breakup. A lot of you have followed me on Instagram since the beginning or for a very long time, which is about like four years now. And through that whole period that I've run my Instagram account, I was with Wes. We met nearly five years ago. And from the moment that we met, we were together. We met traveling, ended up spending a lot of time together. And this is probably gonna be an emotional video, but yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be real and honest with you about it. So there's been a few assumptions that I have a new boyfriend, which is incorrect, or that I left him for someone, which is also incorrect. Really, it was about me, myself, and my life. I won't give you the ins and outs and everything because it will be super long, but I will give you the main things that happened that made me leave my life in the UK and start, or try to start a new life here in America. Generally speaking, me and Wes had a nice relationship you also have to remember that like if you've been with someone for many years you are gonna under well i hope that you will understand them and you will feel that intense bond between each other because you are living your lives together main reason that we broke up was because of the way that he speaks to me and now i know that the way that he says things, the things that he say aren't coming from a place to hurt me, but a lot of the time they did. Back in January 2019, so this year, I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this video, but this year, Wes said some really horrible things out of nowhere. We'd just been on a wonderful holiday together to Mexico, and we was kind of at that point in our relationship where it was get married and have children i love him with all my heart um that's probably something that isn't gonna ever go away so yeah that is something that isn't gonna go away it's one reason why like I'm not gonna start a relationship with someone else because I have a lot of healing to do myself <laughs> so it's really important that you do that if you do leave a relationship then there's no point in just going straight into a relationship with someone else like I've done it before myself and it's usually to like fill a gap that you have in your life because you're so used to spending like every day with someone or you're so used to talking with someone all the time, but really like taking time on your own to do your own stuff is super important, especially at times like this. So something got said in January, which was really past the line. Throughout our whole relationship, I've let a lot of things go because of the pros and the cons. You always weigh up what are the great things, what are the bad things. No relationship is ever going to be perfect, that's for sure. But considering our situation, where we had our house together and our dog together, who I miss so much, obviously, there was something that was said that I really had to weigh up. Like, is this how I wanna move forward with my life and have children with someone who is happy to throw these kinds of words around? And the answer was no. So that night, I stayed on the sofa because I didn't want to go up into the bedroom with him and I waited for an apology so we could sort it out. I never got that apology. I am stubborn and he is stubborn. We know this, but in this case, I definitely wasn't in the wrong at all. So I'm standing my ground and I'm waiting for this apology. Anyway, like four days goes by, I haven't, we're living in the same house, I haven't had a sorry, I haven't had a hello, how are you? It is just one stubborn person against another stubborn person. On the Friday, so this happened on like a Sunday, on the Friday morning, I was leaving England to go to Miami for a date fit cruise to the Bahamas. And I left without saying goodbye. And I didn't get a, hope you have a safe flight, talk about it when you're home, 
anything like that. So that cut me so deep. I came away, I was surrounded by couples and really looking at the way that these guys were treating their girlfriends or their wives or their fiancés and realising that I was in a relationship where I really wasn't being treated right. So you can love someone so much and so deeply but it doesn't mean that they're going to be treating you right. Just because you love them so much, that's something that like is a reflection of you and not necessarily a reflection of them or how they're treating you. Like if you fall in love with someone, that is just something that happens, okay? So we actually spent about 10 days still not talking, not a word, and I'm away now and you know, things are going around in my head. Why hasn't he spoken to me? That's it. Like I can't be with someone who is willing to let me go away without saying anything and I've spent like four years with this guy you know, we have our house together and we have our dog together and stuff and like, what do you expect me to just come home and everything's like, okay. So it wasn't, so I, so I came home and I was obviously super upset and then things in my life started changing. Some opportunities came up in America and some trips, so I started taking them because I no longer wanted to be at home. And this is kind of just where our relationship kind of fell apart because then I had withdrawn and I was spending all the time I could away, which is unfair on him. Communication is key in a relationship and we just did not have that because any time I tried to communicate in the, like in the past, I usually would get shut down. And this again isn't to do with him being like a horrible person, it's just actually the way that he dealt with things and it's something that I couldn't crack. So no matter how open or how much I would try to talk about things, they didn't really get discussed. A lot of our problems that we face in our relationship just got brushed under the carpet, which when they're not major problems, doesn't seem like it's the worst thing at the time to just let things go and I'm pretty good at that. But now a reflection on myself and things that I've learned is you really can't just let everything go. You have to understand where someone's coming from, how both of you are feeling to prevent things like this happening in the future. Spent a lot of time away in America and I started to realize actually like where I really want to be, the people that I really want to be around and where I wanted to live my life. Back when Wes and I met, we was traveling Asia together and I went to Australia and he was going to meet me out in Australia and then, and then he didn't. So I spent about six months out there on my own and it kind of got to a point where I either had to go home back to the UK and be with this person and make this work or I had to cut it out because I couldn't just have like a long distance relationship across the other side of the world with no intentions of going home. So I made the decision to cut my travels and go home and I do not regret it at all because of the life that we ended up building together and all of the lessons that I learned through that but really Wes was the main reason that why I was living in the UK. So as soon as that started to fall apart and I started traveling a lot more again, it made me realize how much I don't want to be in the UK. And I guess at the time, our relationship wasn't worth me being home for. So that's kind of the truth about my breakup. There's, no, there's nothing messy about it. We're amicable. Well, in fact, we're very friendly still. We obviously, I'm still paying my mortgage at home. We still talk daily, mainly about the dog, but Something that you can't just let go it of is love. You can't just fall out of love with someone. As easy and as nice as that might be, you just can't just fall out of love with someone. That's where I am in my relationship and the truth about my relationship. But maybe like the thing that I really want to say to people who might be listening to this is if someone isn't treating you right, you have to leave. If you've tried and tried and tried to make it right and you still aren't understanding where each other how each other need to be treated then you need to leave and it's and it's sad and it's hard and you have to be brave and you have to be strong and you have to accept that you're going to have days where you feel like absolute shit and you're going to have days where you feel amazing and liberated and empowered but that is just what life is about not just relationships like this, life in general, jobs, everything. The main reason that I decided that I couldn't put up with someone speaking to me 
disrespectfully and the way that we were speaking or our conversations were going is like because children were in our near, near future I kind of had to reflect and think if I had a son would I want my son to see his father speaking to his mother the way that I was being spoken to and think that that's okay and then speak to girls like that in future again if I had a daughter is that okay for her to see that and then take that kind of approach from men to her and also think that that's okay. Wes isn't a bad person, Wes is an amazing person in so many ways and like I said I probably can't love a person more than I love him but like right now our lives need to go on a different path. This is really hard. But you're gonna you're gonna find that and it is absolutely okay to break down after a breakup it's normal it's kind of nice to know that you your heart can love someone that much and you can invest so much time into something it's okay if things don't work out i really did want him to marry me i really did want to raise children with him but something was stopping that happening and I guess it just meant that we weren't really meant to be together. It doesn't say that we never had great times because 80% of our relationship was amazing. You know, we liked the same things, we would talk about the same things, like there was a lot of great things about it but when you're sort of toying in your relationship, is this for me? And you're asking yourself that question, is this right? For such a long time, uh, it's time to make a decision and trust that your friends and family are gonna be there to support you which mine have, so thank you. <laughs> and I also want to say that running away to America hasn't changed or sort of made everything easy because, it's, because it isn't easy, but obviously it's a distraction. I'm being placed outside of my comfort zone. I'm being pushed on a daily basis to better myself, better my business, better my career. I'm spending time with people who are so valuable and showing me the reasons why I'm here and that is just super important. If you are going through a breakup, don't just sit at home. Even if you feel like snuggling in bed, don't do it. Like get out there, spend time with your friends. If you wanna cut someone out, cause that's gonna work for you, then you can do that. You know, me and Wes have done that a couple of times that we've said, no, actually it's too much for us to be talking right now but then we realise that we have adult things to talk about so we will start talking again. I might do tips on dealing with a breakup when I'm fully past it myself but like currently I'm still healing and it's going to take a long time to really heal from this and to really figure out where I am and like what's going on in my mind in terms of relationships. Right now I'm just trying to do me and focus on building everything else in my life around the relationship and basically if you are feeling down about something like you can't give from an empty cup and that's something that I've really realized in this I was so down and gutted truly I was truly truly gutted that this man in my life who I did best invested so much of my time and energy into wasn't for me it's a really hard thing to accept but once you accept it and you start to move on from that and you realise that that is how it is and you have to be strong. Like at the end of the day, I am 26. All I really ever wanted was to be a young mother, to get married, to raise like four children. So it was a huge thing for me to actually turn around and say, no, I'm not being treated right by this person. I'm going to walk away right now at the age, well, I'm nearly 27 next month. So at 27... So I'm going to take however long it's going to take to heal from this. Dating or meeting a new man or anything isn't really in my mind right now, but who knows when that will come. And then obviously you've got to date loads of people and then you've got to find someone that things that you connect with deeply. And then you have to think, I'm probably going to need to know this person for a few years if I have it my own way before we get married and then before you have children and stuff. And then suddenly you can, I'm in my head, I'm kind of like, 31, 32, 
who knows and like that's a huge scary thing for me or also where you think maybe it won't happen so for me to walk away from a relationship when I feel that way about having a family and having children is massive because I had to have this talk with myself and I came to a conclusion that if I stayed that is the definition of settling with someone and I have no doubts that Wes would have been a great father and that we would have raised great children together but really in the end would that have been the right choice to make and the answer is unfortunately no so trying to stay as respectful to Wes as I can in this but he well, he doesn't really understand my life on social media actually he kind of thinks why do I need to share everything with everyone but I know that these videos help a lot of people so this is why I do it I'm open enough and brave enough to be able to share my raw emotions with you because everybody goes through shit and sometimes it's nice to see a stranger who is also going through shit and then you can sit there and realize I'm not the only one so that's like small details about the truth about my breakup what made me leave and how I'm feeling right now and yeah I just thought I'd get that out there for you because too many people are asking all the time and I hope that you enjoy this video and I love you all and I'll see you on the next video